Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, as we all know Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have officially touched down in the UK, arriving over the weekend for their first visit back since June's Platinum Jubilee. They've been seen in Windsor, where they're staying at their UK home, Frogmore Cottage, on the grounds of the Queen's Windsor Estate, nearby Prince William and Kate Middleton's brand new home of Adelaide Cottage, though the two couples seem to have no plans to meet up, despite being in close proximity to one another. Meanwhile, Harry's father, Prince Charles, remains in Scotland at Balmoral, the Queen's summer retreat. According to the Mirror, the Prince of Wales, despite being completely bewildered by the couple's actions as of late, in particular Harry's, invited Harry and Meghan to stay with him at Balmoral, an invitation the Sussexes reportedly declined. Author Katie Nicholl told GB News Breakfast with Eamon Holmes and Isabel Webster that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were invited at the end of August. She said, the Queen always has this wonderful extended stay for her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. There's a big sleepover at Balmoral. They were invited to go to that. They were also invited to go to Burke Hall with the Prince of Wales and thus far they haven't done it. The US-based couple, who are thought to have returned to Windsor over the weekend, are on a whirlwind European trip, having visited Dusseldorf to date for an Invictus Games event, ahead of attending the Well Child Awards in the UK on Thursday. Katie said, I know from sources very close to the Prince of Wales that he is prepared to do anything it will take to get this relationship back on track, I think not least because he wants to as a father. He wants to see his children as a grandfather, but I think he's acutely aware that if there is this rift that threatens to overshadow his future reign as well. There are other issues at play here. So what do you think guys, please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.